What's up, you wonderful YouTubers? This is Mike with Price Plow, and we are continuing my keto diet supplement experiment where I'm checking all these different ingredients and supplements to see if they actually raise my blood ketone levels or drop them. Welcome to Price Plow. So previously, we've gone through a bunch of different aminos. Branched chain amino acids were fine. Leucine was awesome. Glutamine, and uh, glycine and alanine, which are in a couple of amino acid supplements that we don't like, are really bad. Now, the big question today is citrulline. I have Nutribio's 100% pure L-citrulline. So what we're going to do is our standard dose of uh, amino acids is 5 grams. That's what I've done with everything. So I'm going to take 5 grams of pure L-citrulline too. It's going to be a nice little pump. We take this because it's a, uh, it's a nitric oxide booster, enhances blood flow, vasodilates, gets you more blood and more nutrients to your muscles and, your, and everywhere else in your veins and elsewhere. And, it's, uh, and so nitric oxide boosters are awesome. The problem is that I'm not sure if it's glucogenic or ketogenic. The thing is that uh, citrulline is the precursor to L-arginine, which we are pretty sure is glucogenic. So there's a good chance that this may lower my blood ketone levels or spike my blood sugar. The thing is, um, you know, I, I, we're, we're mostly, we're huge fans of this stuff and we like to have it in our pre-workouts. My hope is that it doesn't tank my ketone levels here, but we're gonna just come in. What I do is I take my blood ketones, blood sugar, and I take the five grams of, uh, of stuff. Hopefully it doesn't taste too bad. Then I sit here and work, and then 45 minutes later, I test again, and then we'll see what happens. And so let's get that going here. Uh, the only other comment I have is that I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm cheering for this one to be good because I wanna keep taking supplements that have high amounts of citrulline in them. And even if you're, if you're pre-workout, I don't think it's a bad thing for keto dieters to get their carbs in at that point or to take something like this, which might be worth a blood sugar spike if it does, in fact, spike blood sugar. I mean, that's not a horrible thing, but we might not want to be sipping on stuff, something throughout the day that has a bunch of this in here or even that much in there. So that's what we're going to find out. If even though it might spike blood sugar doesn't mean I'm going to stop taking something as I have it. I just want to know. Starting blood sugar. Holy crap. What is wrong with me? I got some problems here, folks. I mean, this isn't even right. This isn't even right. I think I'm going to keep going with the experiment. It's clear that I'm not eating well. I've been working on these discussion forums and doing nothing, but, oh, man. I'm not, I'm very, like, I'm embarrassed to have a fasting blood sugar of 108. There's something, like, basically wrong with me, if you ask me. I have not eaten anything. Maybe I had too much crap yesterday, but I didn't. I, ooh, I had a cookie pre-workout. That was, like, 12 hours ago, though. No, no, that was even more than 12 hours. The ketones are at 0 0.8. Man, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this blood sugar thing. It's embarrassing. I don't, yeah, well, you know what? It is what it is. It's up here on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I have a fasting blood sugar of 108. There is some error in those strips, but we trust them for what they are here. Anyway, uh, let's weigh out five grams of citrulline and see if uh, it makes the ketones move at all. And <laughs> the 108 blood sugar, shit. There's my five grams. This is a little bit more gritty than some of those branched chain amino acids. And for the fun part, I can't imagine this tasting that bad. I've never had it before, but if it's in a ton of pre-workout formulas and they're getting higher and higher and higher with the doses, then uh, how bad can it be? Hmm. It's all super good. You know, I've, like, I've tasted that taste before and it's been in pre-workout formulas. Now I know where that, whatever that is, comes from. It's got a little distinct taste of, uh, tastes like powder. <laughs> so the one thing I want to mention here now, when you're looking at a pre-workout formula, remember that, uh, and I don't want to, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too much because Mark Glazer of Nutribio wants to talk about this in very, very depth. But when you see something, uh, when you see citrulline malate, let's just say that that's half L-citrulline. So if you have six grams of uh, citrulline malate, that would be uh, that would be three grams of actual citrulline. The, uh, the rest is malic acid. We should probably test malic acid eventually along this series, but that's kind of a low priority one for me. I want to get into the carbs and fibers and uh, actual keto supplements and foods and donuts and stuff. Or, well, not donuts. My blood sugar is already high. But uh, anyway, this is not citrulline malate. This is pure L-citrulline. Five grams is five grams. But if you were to get, like, say, if you want to, if you want to match what I just did with citrulline malate, you need to get 10 grams of total powder. And so that malic acid may make things taste better. I think it helps things mix a little better, even though that mixed incredibly well with water in my mouth. Uh, I think that 
you know, you just need to know the difference between the citrulline malate and the L-citrulline. But it's really L-citrulline is the pre-workout ingredient that we are going for. So I'll be back in 45 minutes and we'll see how, how much worse anything got. No time, we're back. Let's see how much worse my blood sugar got. I really, really am hoping it went down, if anything. All right, cool. Well, not cool. About the same. So that could be a good thing. Uh, if I had a bad test at first, then it did spike it. But I don't think, uh, I don't know. My, my numbers have been trending a little higher. Anyway, what we want to see is that I am at or above 0 0.8 is the goal. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay, that's disappointing. We're going to have to do this again, obviously, tomorrow. That's about the same number as glutamine. Uh, the, the thing is that citrulline does have more benefits than glutamine. And uh, while I was sitting here, I wasn't doing anything, wasn't working out, wasn't using that uh, boost in nitric oxide unless it was making my brain work smarter, which I don't think it did. I got a good brain. Um, so so uh, as of right now, I am going to say if I am in a mildly ketogenic mode or I'm like really close to 0 0.5 or I'm trying to transition in, citrulline is something I'm going to stay away from. Like when you're trying to get in mode of ketosis, uh, it, to me, it's like time to get away from a lot of these pre-workout supplements that have citrulline. But let's, let's try another day. Uh, it's a disappointing number, but it is what it is and it is kind of what was you know scientifically theorized with the l-arginine conversion uh that's kind of what happens so let's see if it happens two days in a row and then we'll have our final conclusion okay 92 that's an acceptable number pretty good all right 0 0.7 i was at 0 0.3 yesterday all right there's my five grams it's a little bit grainy we've seen grainier stuff Let's get the prick going and go. Blood sugar. 86. All right, it dropped there. I am getting hungrier and hungrier. Uh, so that's a good sign here. If we have a drop in ketones, though, which can still happen, then we know. If not, then we might have to go for day three. L-citrulline on the keto diet. Oh, man. Okay. Drop me a ketone uh, millimole, even though I'm continuing my fast and I would have liked it to go in the other direction in the best of, you know, uh, best of situations. With two of these experiments, uh, you know, the whole blood sugar thing, which, that's a good sign that, you know, my blood sugar was able to drop. So this might not be that bad. But I think the, for me, the verdict is this. And it's, this sucks because like every pre-workout supplement in the world has L-citrulline pretty much. If you are transitioning into ketosis, I would stay away from this amino acid. Uh, if you're already pretty deep into ketosis, I think it's fine to take because uh, the, the, the pumps from L-citrulline, I think, are worth it. Uh, and it's, it's not a big deal. You're going to start in creating more ketones once you start burning through stuff. I really do think there's a lot. There's a ton of benefits to taking like six grams of citrulline. Maybe you want to dial it back just a touch. Uh, but overall, this is one of those amino acids where I think the pros do outweigh the cons. But at the same time, let's say you're like stuck in these levels. Like I'm at 0 0.6. You're like stuck at 0 0.4. You're stuck at 0 0.5. You're just in your first week or two of ketosis. I would stay away from it and uh, just stay away from any pre-workouts that have it high up on the list or whatever. And there's a lot of these ingredients that you got to kind of notice will either spike your blood sugar or that they drop your ketone levels. And they're good to stay away from at least until you're deeper into things and you're willing to take that sacrifice. Because if I was at 1.5, Five right now, I'll go and use six grams of citrulline, no problem, because the pumps are worth it. So that's kind of the consensus. I'm sorry to say this because like 90% of the pre-workouts have this stuff in it. Um, so, you know, Robert and I did put together a video that talked about pre-workouts out there have no L-arginine and no L-citrulline. And so I'm going to reference back to that video because it actually is uh, pretty useful in this situation, knowing that uh, citrulline is going is dropping my ketone levels. I haven't yet taken L-arginine. We could do that, uh, but I'm assuming the same thing's going to happen because it just stated that it's glucogenic. The next thing I think we want to do, I want to test out agmatine because agmatine is a great, uh, like, is a great pump inducer as well, a great nitric oxide ingredient, and it may even uh, give you some uh, boost your neurotransmitter status, give you a little bit of focus factor, but really in it for the uh, for keeping your nitric oxide levels around higher longer. But will that also create more arginine in your body, which your body then has to create in the blood sugar? I don't know. So that's going to be the next video, but we are back, baby. And right now, 
Beginners on keto diet don't use L-citrulline, but everyone else, eh, go for it. Works by converting into L-arginine inside your blood, and um, that is actually a better nitric oxide supplement. <laughs> it's actually a better nitric. Um, you probably heard why I'm having, uh, why I was on a little bit of a layoff on this, but we're back. Welcome to Price Plow.